Well, short term, everyone likes the dollar. It's yeah. like the U.S. is this big fiscal plan. It's very dollar positive. Interest rates would rise in the U.S. This is all very dollar positive. However, we think that certainly in the short term, the next week or so, sure, dollar yen will go higher, the euro will go lower. But looking forward in the next two, two or three months, we think that the administration is setting up for a uh, essentially a Plaza Accord 2.0, which would mean that we'd see a revaluation of the dollar versus Japan versus Europe. If that was the case, you'd see dollar China then come off because it's like against a basket of currencies. Mm -hmm. So we think that this is the time maybe to accumulate short positions in the dollar rather than get lost in that dollar, which we think is right now in a bubble state. And would you, uh, how would you advise the euro? And I'm going to come back about why I feel that way. But. Well, you know, euro right now has got good support around that, around parity. Yeah. You know, parity we've been trying, or folks have been trying since 2007, 2008 to try to break it. Right. It just doesn't happen. No, so it doesn't. There's very strong doesn't. demand for the euro, certainly from guys that are selling U.S. treasuries, like Asian central banks. They sell U.S. treasuries and they buy the euro to diversify because they're overly long the U.S. dollar right now and very short the euro. So we see a continued buying of euro from these Asian central banks down below. So we think around this level, this is a greater level to accumulate the euro, looking for that essentially the Plaza Accord 2.0, which you see the euro then start to go much, much higher. And people who are watching, you have to know that is that, like many of us, these are not consensus views. Okay, and that's what I like about it. That's a totally non-consensus view that I think can really play out.